Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the January 2017 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get started. Here's problem 35. Tanya is making a homemade greeting cards and the data table below represents the amount that she spends in dollars F in terms of the number of cards that she makes X. So this is cards. This is number of cards and this is the, uh, the amount she spends. Okay. Uh, write a linear function as uh, uh, f that represents the data. I do look at the data real quick: four, six, nine, ten, seven, fifty-nine, eleven, twenty-five, twelve, and they did say linear. Um, explain why what the slope and y-intercept of uh, f of x mean uh, in the given context. Okay, so let's do that. So we should be able to do this algebraically. Uh, you can do this on the calculator by by uh, going to stat create a list uh the list four six nine ten and the uh, second list l2 7.59 11.5 12 and then use the linear regression function to get a to get a linear equation but we're going to do this uh algebraically we know that the function is linear so f of x is equal to mx plus b so in this case so let's say um f of 4 is equal to uh, m times 4 plus b, which equals 750, okay? And f of 6 uh, is equal to, uh, sorry, oops, is equal to m times 6 plus b, and that's equal to 9. Okay, so let's subtract. Okay, so subtract m times 4 plus b and subtract 7.5. And then I like doing the keep change change like my students love to do. So it changes to a plus of a, a negative number, a negative number. And then we get 6m minus 4m is 2m. B plus negative B cancels. 9 minus 750 is 1.50. And divide by 2, divide by 2. And we get M is equal to one, uh, 0 0.75. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. I do need a little more space because I'm writing much bigger than you would on your, cal on your test. But now that we know M, we can get... Uh, so F of 4, we can get B equals M times... I'm sorry, it's not M anymore. It's a 0 0.75 times 4 plus B, which equals 7.5. So 75 cents times 4 is $1.53. Or use your calculator, B is 7.50. Uh, subtract 3, subtract 3, and you get B is equal to um, $4.50. So F of X is equal to 0 0.75x plus 450. And you could check your answer by uh, uh, a different line. So f of 9, so this is a check, f of 9 is equal to 0 0.75 times 9 plus 4.5. And let's see, 0 0.75 times 9 Point seven five times nine plus four fifty is should be equal to eleven twenty five, and it is in fact. So we're, we're checked. So now that's a bunch of points. That's two points. Now explain what what the slope and the y-intercept for f of x mean in the given context. So again. If X is the number of cards and F of X is the amount she, that she spends, clearly that then the the right side values are are costs, spend expenditures. So this is a variable cost that depends on how much she spends on each card. So the seventy five cents is exactly how much she spends per card. So the slope of zero point seven five is the cost 
uh, per card. Okay. And then what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is this 450. The, the y-intercept of 450. Now, what does that represent? That means that if she doesn't buy any cards, then she spends 450, which might sound weird, but but that happens a lot. That 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 you have a certain fixed cost to the situation. For example, if you got if you're making homemade greeting cards, you got to spend gas to go buy the materials. That's that's a quick fixed cost. Um, as, assuming you're driving one time, that would be a fixed cost. So 450 is the uh fixed cost she pays uh before making cards that's it hey thanks for watching if you're watching for one hour play this hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now if not go to youtube.com search for juantutors.com click on the name and definitely hit the subscribe button and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos and scroll to the bottom all of our playlists are going to be right at the bottom just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there and if you feel like you need a little extra boost with tutoring go to our website check out our testimonials and if you feel like we're right for you you can click on the contact us link and contact us straight from the page thanks for watching